What's up guys, it's NojuJax here, welcome back to a world tour! Doo, 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 doo. Guys, today this is quite an exclusive and first premiered world tour of a survival world made by this lovely guy, the Penguin Hunter Zero. Mr. Penguin Hunter, he's actually been an amazing champ by actually building in this world with a few of his friends, but most of it is all built by him and this is not built on creative, which is slightly different from what we usually do, but it's also quite cool to see what he's built in survival. Now, this is a very cool spawn it looks like some parkour goes on what's going and it looks like when you do a sprint jump and jump on them the light underneath actually lights up that's quite cool but guys before we explore the tour let me just say a few things if you want your world to be toured let me know in the comment section below and we can sure we can organize that and try and contact contact me via anything in the description email twitter it lets me know that you guys are interested also drop a like on the video that also lets me like know if you want your worlds to be toured now let's continue on with this world tour mr penguin hunter and uh, i'll read the signs as well because obviously we always like to see what people put in the signs whether you see what mentality they have basically so we'll start from what it well, this one first okay this is the penguin survival same rules as uh, lion maker survival madness don't ask your permin missions uh, bracket spam I'm not giving you them <laughs> if you could leave it will lessen it will it will lessen lag for who I need in my world I hope you under, uh, understand these simple rules I recommend you rethink your life okay well, all right then. Uh, <laughs> all right, fair enough. Uh, well, they're the signs in the world. I do like reading the signs just to see what type of what's going on and what your thoughts are. So this is survival, and this should be quite interesting to see what's going on here. So whoop, let's go down here. Let's go down here. And uh, by the looks of things, I always like to take a look at the landscape. So you've dug out the landscape, very square shape, but also you can see a little secret down there, a bridge over there, a pyramid over there, and also looks like you've landscaped the water, which is quite cool as well. Now let's take a back step and have a look at the spawn area. It's like a giant jungle temple, except it's actually manufactured. And again, everything is made on survival. So that means he would have had to get the materials. Now I am being told that he did get a couple of friends to help him with the materials, but everything you see it's primarily built by him which is actually quite interesting so we'll start by looking at the thing that's closest to us how do we enter this room and by the looks of things it looks very very cool because it has lots of sheep in there and I'm presuming that this is your wool farm am I correct mr. penguin hunter is he gonna give me a nod uh, oh yes I am correct and there seems to be some ponies over there which I recognize the design of and I'm pretty sure that I know who made the original design to them so oh we got stuck on there that's the that's the button that doesn't usually work i like the uh, the wall ceilings as well so we've got every single different type of colored sheep which is actually great because you guys know how annoying it is to make a wall farm in the first place it must take about a day to gather the right amount of sheep and stuff and then coordinate and coordinate them in the right place and oh hello piggy oh don't eat me i'm gonna eat you mr P oh i think i've just smacked the piggy straight back in the cage usually that's a glitch on xbox so if we also take a look out here have another panoramic view of what's going on i like to cross this bridge actually i'd like to definitely cross the bridge but also take a look at the terraforming if we look all around everything's been really nicely smoothed out it's basically one of them nice survival worlds that you can see things oh we are so going up the tree house let's definitely go up the tree house uh did Come on, Penguin Hunter, this is your map, and I'm racing you, and I'm already nearly winning. God, this is such a long treehouse right now. I'm going out of breath. Penguin Hunter is beating me. So this is a tree. Oh, there's an iron golem up here, and there seems to be, whoa, loads of doggies and cats. That's really cool. Even the Samus go. Hello, little kitty. Hello. I don't want to hurt any the little cats otherwise that iron golem is gonna bash me off and this is actually an epic view looking from here you can see a little npc village down there a mini game you can see the crops let's actually have a look let's have a look i don't really want to go see crops but it looks like you've got a huge crop farm a nice obviously smoothed out land so my little ponies down there which i can talk about a little bit more in a minute but that temple i was being told that there's seven sort of temples or sort of secrets around the map we will go there shortly as well so we've got two opposite sides and this lovely brick house building that we're going to go check out as 
well. So let me just think. Can I do a little jump? I did get given ender pearls to do some um, epic quickness. So boom, ender pearl down there. And <laughs> Mr. Penguin Hunter, I think we should go inside the brick house and check out this place. I'm inside, and it uh, seems to be a big TV. I think this is. Oh, this has got to be. This is your house. This is your house, isn't it, Mr. Penguin Hunter? No, is it? it no. Yes, yes, it's your house. Awesome. Well, basically. Okay, so this is actually a really good house, and I can see that you've got a lovely kitchen in here. It's quite a big... Oh, there's a mob outside and everything. That's actually quite... Kill the mob. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, there's another one right there. <laughs> oh, he just missed the arrow. Okay, a mittens here is like, I'm gonna help you, mate. Well, it looks like this is a work of progress. This probably is quite a fairly new world. Is it... How, how new? Let me have a guess. Is it one month old? Is it less than one month old? Uh, less than two months old. Less than three months old. Less than four months old. Less than five. Five. Less than five months old. So he's been working on and off in this world. And look at the little kitty. Hello, little kitty. Hello. Hello. Oh, I hit the kitty. Run, run, run. Run. I didn't mean to do it. <laughs> I should have really hit the cat. But, you know, what do you expect? Oh, and he's got a really nice... Stacks and stacks and stacks of everywhere and chests. So this is like his own little area, his own little potions room. You've like got a room. What's so good, right, is that especially the one thing that I love about survival is the fact that every single thing that you see in this world is made for a reason. Like this is a mine shaft. I'm guessing it's like a stereotype mine shaft, isn't it, Mr. Penguin Hunter? Yeah, it's your stereotype, Mr. 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 I like saying Mr. a lot, but what I was saying about survival is that every single room that you see is a must. For example, you do need room where you can go get certain items you do need look a cobble room you do need uh, is that a cobblestone generator is it yeah uh oh i'm guessing it was a cobblestone generator but uh, i guess it's not working right now oh, he's gonna go fix it i see so that's quite interesting though nonetheless that he would have a cobblestone generator which you guys will see if you do watch the sky blade series and not only that this is sort of like a potions room which is important to have as well and uh, this just seems to be his like hardware technician room with the nether portal which is great as well and some steps so that is what's interesting about survival is that in his house he's got a little dining area over there that's going to be expanding and then he had downstairs which you know always is quite cool in the cellar he's got his uh, crate inventories and, and tools and whatnot and then we're going into a lovely lit up area where he's got just a computer <laughs> in the middle of night nowhere I'm guessing this house needs quite a bit of work on but he is a penguin and I guess he's got his nice little river out there with a lovely view of the bed as well I, if I can break one of these windows sorry sorry I, I don't, I'll, 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 I'll pay it back but uh, I'm gonna see if I can get into that temple with an ender pearl right now Ooh! go Oh man, I was so close in there. But that is awesome. Look, let's have a turn around and have another look of that view. So apparently, this is quite like a secret that's around the world. You have found one of many treasures, the cobra or something like that. And it is, ah, the cobra. This is interesting. I get it. So this is actually like a, a slithering cobra, like an actual organic that you've made. So what you're doing, you've actually let people go around the world and you've got, uh, you said seven hidden treasures around the world and uh, that people can go find is that right oh that's interesting i haven't really seen that done before and also guys bear in mind let's take a couple of seconds this is on survival look how long this would have taken to actually dig out and get to a great standard so also is there any beds mr ping oh yes i think what we should do is, is use the nfl sleep in your bed Okay, Ooh. oh, oh, I thought that was a perfect shot right in there. If we sleep inside your bed, we can go in there and uh, we can sleep, go to the morning, and then we can uh, basically go talk about the little ponies, and that will be interesting as well. So, <gasps> oh, rise and shine, let's go. Where's the, where's the eggs and bacon? Where's the eggs and bacon, Mr. Penguin Hunter? Where's the eggs and bacon? I'm joking, right? <laughs> Let's go and check out the uh, the ponies, okay? So just break these glasses as well. I know I'm breaking glass, but what do you expect? We've got a certain time frame that we've got to meet, and I want to explain what's going on in this world. So come on, come on, there we go. And uh, these, uh, oh god, these, uh, um, 
These My Little Ponies are actually made from the tutorial of Mini God, which is actually interesting as well. Mini God has made some lovely ponies. He is the world's best pony hunter. The world's best pony. Pony hunter? It's because he killed him. I got tongue twister. Uh, a, a pony maker in the whole world. And this looks like a really nice view from your little bedroom or your, your, your internet space. And also, do you know what's really interesting? Is that he's made an Enderman farm. Now, you guys probably don't realize how long it ta has taken him to do it. It's taken him three days to do an Enderman farm. So could you show me, Mr. Penguin Hunter? Let's go to the end. I know it's not the most interesting detailed thing, but it's interesting to show that you guys could also make that as well. And do you know what you could do, right? What it does is it basically is an Enderman farm that gets you so, like infinite Enderpels, gets you XP. It's just absolutely crazy. And it's something that I recommend that all you guys want to have in a survival world. It does take a while, but get a couple of your friends to do it with you. And that should be great. And that should go quickly as well. So Mr. Penguin Hunter is, seems to be the end fall. Seems to be quite far out in the distance. But nonetheless, he knows where he's going, which is quite exciting as well. Seems like he's been in there for m five months. He should know where he's going by now. And ah, oh, he's like a little wooden tower over there that shows an iconic area of where the end portal is, which is interesting as well because I remember going back to the roots when I used to play a bit of survival. I used to build like this and I just used to just feel so immersed in my world by doing things like that. So Mr. Penguin Hunter, let's do this. Let's go down, going down to Coppertone, down to stone. I'm going down and down and down and down and down. I'm going down down and down and down and down and down. It's uh, so long until we get to the end portal. There we go. Looks like we're getting there. And what a direct route. Uh, Penguin Hunter, are you ready? Uh, I wanted to punch you in. I guess I've got to tap players off. Woo! I'm in the end. And, uh, oh, hey, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm stuttering at my words because I just saw so much water in the end. That's just absolutely crazy. I guess it's probably, if you tried to do it to get rid of the mobs, you do know you could have just put torches everywhere. So this is actually hilarious. This is like the water end. So I guess in a way, what he's done is he's put water down. To uh, basically, like, just see, like, see, like, that end, that end of man is like in between the water. So I guess it's just that even better excuse to actually say instead of having torches, it's a good excuse to actually uh, make an end. It's just two ways. You can either use water or torches, but you basically don't want any endermen on this top flat world because you all want them spawning in the generator. So whereabouts is the generator, Mr. Penguin Hunter? Whereabouts is the generator? Oh, I think we're getting closer to it. I don't even know how I got there. Oh, the enderman's like not happy with me. Run, Penguin Hunter! Run! Run! Oh, wow. What's that over there? Oh, wow. Whoa, that is awesome. We completely walked past it. I have an absolute baboon. But uh, nonetheless, that is still very interesting seeing that he's actually gone out of his way but water everywhere, which would have taken a while as well. Ah! Help me! Help me, Penguin Hunter. This thing is like, this is not what's meant to happen in a world tour. There we go. Eat my, eat my butt. Eat my, there we go. Thank you. Get out my way. Thank you. Ooh, jump over the cattle. Whoop, jump over the torch. And uh, seize by the look of things. There seems to be, yes, see, there's a lot of endermen in here because they're all spawning in that room. And that, oh, I died. Nonetheless, though, we did see it, which was interesting. And what's also better is the fact that we did actually spawn back at spawn. So I'll recommend as well, Mr. Penguin, that you die as well because then we can spawn near outside your house. And then we can have one last look around the world, have a little feel for it, wrap up this, by the way, guys, and then, you know, basically go and see another world, which will be on next Saturday. I do like to do the worlds on Saturdays. Obviously, I do record them on the Friday because that would be absolutely crazy. Let's go have a look at the farm. Just have a really nice sort of look and feel for it. Look, it looks really coordinated. I'm not going to step on it. And I've all, and to be honest with you, I've probably been, you guys have probably been wondering, what is this in here? I don't know. So let's go and have a look. It's quite near the village NPC, which looks quite sophisticated. It looks like quite a nice one since even further onwards, there's two. That is quite... Wow, there's two villages right next to each other. That's quite exclusive. I'm not going to go down there, but that's quite cool just thinking about it and uh, let's jump up here come on Luke what are you doing oh the end of bell that was an end of bell and a half okay how do we get in here right we're gonna get in here jump jump to jump oh there's a chicken no chicken help me the penguin hunter what is this this is weird, man. What is this? This is just like some to giant toilet or something. Like, I guess like it's where he lives. Ah! There's fire and everything. What is going on? It's like, oh, wow. There's like a chicken. It's like, hey, help me. 
burning. I don't want to burn. And it's like an iron golem in there. Okay, right. This is far too weird. I guess, guys, that pretty much sums up the uh, the world tour of the Penguin Land or the Penguin Island. I don't remember what the name was. Mr. Penguin Island, don't hurt me. I guess we'll go back to Spotted. We'll check it out. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys know how to get yourself in another world or get your world shown. I told you, put the name in the comment section below or get in contact through uh, some forms of what's in my description. And, guys, if you thought the video was good, please drop a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, guys, have a good day. Goodbye.